Okay, today we are back with another Death Note reaction video. Jordan, we are on episode number 13. Number 13. And the storyline for this show is rapidly developing. Yeah, a lot happened over the past two episodes, brother. Yeah. We met Misa. Misa, Misa. There are now hypothetically three Kiras. Yes. And Light himself has joined the investigative team. That's right. And uh, we learned about the love story between Jealous and Misa. Yeah. And we also saw L's mental breakdown when he heard Misa or Kira say Shinigami. Yeah, in the eyes. Yeah. That was a panic attack, right? He fell out of the chair. It looked like it. Yeah. All right, brother. So we have a whole bunch of comments to read, many from new faces, yes. which we love to see. So let's run through these, Jared. A lot of questions for us. And then we're going to jump in to the next two episodes. Let's go. Here we go. So the first comment comes to us from Zug Zhuang. And they write, it is important to note in regards to Jealous's death that he only died from the act of killing the stalker because he was motivated to do it out of a feeling of love and a desire to save another human. Any other Shinigami who didn't particularly care for Misa's life one way or the other would have been free to kill the stalker. And even if their actions would have lengthened Misa's life, it wouldn't have or it wouldn't kill the Shinigami since they weren't intentionally interfering with fate. That's a a key point. Yes. That we wouldn't have thought about if Zug Zwang didn't put yes. it on our radar. Uh, Zug Zwang continues, basically, it only becomes a crime for Shinigami to save a human with the death note when they do it in order to lengthen the life of a human they care about. Yeah. So feelings. Feelings. Having an emotional attachment to a human is a required prerequisite for receiving the kind of punishment that Jealous did. A Shinigami with no emotional attachments to any human can kill whatever human they want and be safe, even if it inadvertently lengthens the life of other humans. Beautiful comment. Yeah, well said. And going forward, it helps us clarify yeah. things, especially something that we didn't even know was possible. Yes. Jordan, fact, that's a tough life for Shinigamis, right? Like the 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 high... What is it? High crime and in, in, in what's the term? High crime and what? In misdemeanor, high crime. And... I have no idea. All right, whatever that means. Like it, their crime is caring about someone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Gosh. And we saw how gentle, jealous was. Yeah. When he was watching the uh, crime occur. Yes. The person who was attempting to kill Misa. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Zugzwang. All right. Thank you, Zugzwang. The next comment comes from our patron, Hip Hoppy. And Hip Hoppy writes All right. With that, Jared, it is time, brother, to jump in to episode number 13. Come on. Of Death Note Confession. Let's go. Here we go, everybody. That's his father. Journal. I think so, Why yeah. That idiot up to now? <laughs> Why can't he just wait? He wanted the journal shown on TV? Yes, this is it. <laughs> 2006? These entries are from last year. Please take a look at the entry he made on the 30th. Hmm. Confirmed our Shinigami at the Tokyo Dome. This is probably supposed to mean that he plans to do this on May 30th. If this were aired on TV, his intentions would be obvious to anyone who sees it. <laughs> Besides, he can't see my Shinigami unless he touches my death note. Yeah. Is he planning to do that? Mm. There's another... Hey, Rem. Hmm? I forget. 
object. Why can't I see my own lifespan even though I have Shinigami eyes? Do you think you could tell me again? Humans with Shinigami eyes only need to know the lifespan of their victims. And just as we can't see the lifespan of others... Alright, I can't resist the urge of, of going back. Okay. All right, that, that was... <laughs> Is there another one? I don't know. She just said, my friend and I yeah. showed off our notebooks. Yeah. Let's, let's read that real quick. Alright. Besides, he can't see my Shinigami unless he touches my death note. How's he planning to do that? My friend and I showed off our notebooks in Ayama. Ayama. And this is a journal entry by Misa. I believe so. Right? My, My friend, friend and I showed off our notebooks in Ayama. Maybe she's referring to Rem as the friend? Okay. I don't know. But that seemed to have sparked some sort of alarm. Can we go back even further? Yeah. Because what happened? Like the Tokyo Dome. Yeah. Let's, let's rewatch are they, this. Are they about to throw a concert or something? <laughs> let's rewatch this. All right, we're going to start from the beginning. All right. Light, there's another message from the second Kira. It was sent to Sakura TV and we intercepted it. Okay. I told it's a video and a journal this time. Video and a journal, yeah. I figured I should tell you. A journal? What is that idiot to now? <laughs> Why can't he just Idiot. wait? He. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you wanted the journal shown on TV? Yes, this is it. 2006. 2006. The entries are from last year. Well, a year ago. Let's take a look at the entry he made on the 30th. Confirmed our Shinigami. Okay. Confirmed our Shinigami at the Tokyo Dome. So it seems like Misa met up with someone else who has a Death Note. And they confirmed their Shinigamis at the Tokyo Dome and shared their, their notebooks. Potentially. Am I reading too, in, too deep into that? I, I don't know. I mean, this journal is from 2006, yeah. correct? Yep. Yeah. What does the 30th mean, right? Was it May 30th, they said? Yeah, 5, five 2006. 2006. These entries are from last year. Yep. She's had that, a Shinigami that long? I think so. She's had the Death Note that long? I think so. I think, you know what? Oh, it is? The passage of time is sort of tripping me up a little bit because I guess more than a few years have passed already since Light has had the Death Note or no? Well, he is in college now. Yeah. I think that I think one thing our, one of our patrons told us was the Shinigami who said that they were going to take a trip up yep. was a different Shinigami than Rem. So we don't know how long Misa has had her death note. Ah. We don't know how long Rem has been with yeah. Misa, I don't yeah. think. Okay. So at least a year. Wow. I believe that's what one of our patrons was telling us. All right. All right. From last year. Please take a look at the entry he made on the 30th. Confirmed our Shinigami at the Tokyo Dome. Huh. This is probably supposed to mean that he plans to do this on May 30th. If this were aired on TV, his intentions would be obvious to anyone who sees it. What's that mean? I don't know. Besides, he can't see my Shinigami unless he touches my death note. How's he planning to do that? 22nd. Hey, Rem. All right, man. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Do you think you could tell me again? Humans with Shinigami eyes only need to know the lifespan of their victims. Mm. And just as we can't see the lifespan of others of our kind, humans who possess a death note cannot see each other's lifespan, even with the eyes. Mm. May 22nd. My friend and I showed off our notebooks in Aoyama. Aoyama. And by notebooks, he's referring to our death notes. That's something that could only be understood by me. Yeah. <laughs> as for the police, they'll be distracted by the May 30th entry. We confirmed our Shinigami at the baseball game in the Tokyo Dome. Ah. It must have been intended for them. Ah. I'm almost positive that the real message from this diary is the one regarding Aoyama. But if that's the case... What do you think? Is it 
real? I have to be careful not to say too much. Better to wait. Crazy. Yeah, crazy. At this point, what do you think? Is it real? I have to be careful not to say too much. Better to wait and hear his opinion first. At this point in time, all I can say for sure is he must be stupid. <laughs> I mean, it's completely obvious he wants to meet Kira at the home game. Doesn't he understand what would happen if we aired this message? It would create an immediate panic in the game. Would ah. be canceled. To be honest, it's so stupid. I'm not even sure how to deal with this whole This guy, every episode. You know, if we make the diary public, then we'll be forced to make some kind of televised announcement canceling the game on the 30th. But if we don't broadcast it, we can be sure the second Kira won't do anything. Mm. Will canceling the game make him angry? There's no telling what he'll do. Frankly, that's not a big concern. From what we've witnessed, it's safe to say the second Kira admires the real one. He gave his word to the Kira we invented that yep. he refrained from killing aimlessly. I'm inclined to believe that. I say we make it public. Oh, snap. We air an announcement canceling the game. At the same time, we'll announce that on May 30th, we're going to set up checkpoints on all roads leading to the Tokyo Dome. Uh-oh. And finally, we'll send a response from our invented Kira. Something like, I understand, and I agree to meet you there. Oh. Ryuzaki, you don't honestly expect him to go there if we set up checkpoints around the Dome, do you? I don't think that Kira would even consider it, but it's possible the other one might. And it all depends on how stupid he really is. However, assuming he's not actually the idiot we think he is, there could be another message here. Uh oh. One that's not so obvious. If there's a message here written in some code that only people who have this Shinigami power can understand, there'd be no way for me to decipher it. Still, it would only make sense for us to look into all of the places that were mentioned. Oh boy. Uh, Ayoma. Aoyama. Aoyama. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So were these journal entries basically like a calendar of future meetups? I have no idea. Why? Because right, at first it, it, it sounded like it was a journal entry from the past. From 2006, a year ago, right? And then it sounds like it's being interpreted as either a journal entry or a message. Yeah. Right, of events to come in the future. Right. Is it like a, it must be some sort of coded Code. message yeah. for light. Yeah. Is that what it is? Being, I think so. You just have to release it as a journal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was confusing, man. Oh snap. Clothing store in Shibuya. It's as I thought. If this phony kid slips up and gets apprehended, at the very least I have to obtain his notebook. And in the worst case, I may end up having to kill everyone. <laughs> All we can do is oh. surveillance cameras in Aoyama and Shibuya. One, one more quick question. Yeah. If what Light just said happens, if he obtains the death note, will he have two Shinigamis? Oh, will he have Rem and Ryuk and will they be able to see each other? Good question. Just a thought. I have no idea. And in the worst case, I may end up having to kill everyone there. All we can do is place more surveillance cameras in Aoyama and Shibuya in the hopes that we might capture something. We should also arrange to have undercover officers in both locations on these days. I should probably go to Aoyama and Shibuya since I blend in with the crowd there, you know? I'll go too. Natural hanging out with Matsui there. Besides, the second Kira will be there looking for Kira, not for the police. Uh oh. Why you say uh oh? Okay. Because I mean, come on. L, you want to or Light, you want to go to these places? Yeah. That's a clear sign for L. Yeah. Right. Even the way L just looked at him yeah. right there, he knows. Yeah. He has to know. Yeah. He has to know. About our trips tomorrow. Sounds good, Light. See you tomorrow. Careful getting home. Why do these det other detect people on the on the squad seem so innocent? Yeah. Uh -huh. Right. 
never fails. The second I'm out the door, my phone starts ringing. Yes? It's Ryozaki. Uh-oh. When you two are working together, I want you to keep a close eye on light the there entire you go. time. Yeah. And please keep this between you and me. Uh, sure. Yeah, I understand. I guess he still plans to investigate light until the probability that his cure reaches zero. I'm home. Hello, dear. You're back quite late today. Yeah. I'm supposed to keep the fact that I'm helping with the Kira investigation a secret. Uh, it's because I was hanging out with my girlfriend. You were? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> What's her name? It's not that surprising. I'm 18 and I'm in university now. Of course I have a girlfriend. You should look for a boyfriend, Sadie. Huh? A boyfriend? What's that supposed to mean? Light, aren't you going to have any dinner? Actually, I'm still full from room service at the hotel. Huh? I can't believe you just said that to mom. So what's this about a hotel? Sounds <laughs> Okay, Ryuk. We need to have a little talk. Uh, should have known. And I'd appreciate an answer if you could. If two Shinigami happen to meet in the human world, are they allowed to speak to each other? Ooh. That's my question. Okay. As long as I'm attached to a human, I'd say it's against the rules unless oh. I had their permission first. <laughs> but there's no laws against it either, so I guess it's possible that another Shinigami might talk to me. So, does that mean that if this fake Kira Shinigami were to see you, there's a chance he might mention the fact that you're with me and reveal that I'm Kira? Mm. They probably wouldn't, but it depends on their personality. And if this kind of situation did arise, I can assume that you'll act the way you normally do? Yeah. Even if I see another human with a Shinigami, I'm not going to tell you. Oh, gosh. Well, I definitely think you've got the right approach. Eh, thanks. Just give me some apples. There's no way. Do you really think this far ahead? What is it? Aoyama is a big area. I was searching for possible meeting places when I stumbled across this. On the 22nd, there's a big event going on at a club in Aoyama called the Note Blue. Aoyama. Blue Mountain. Note and blue, it's a code. Uh. If you ask me, that's pretty elaborate. You might be smarter than I thought. Which means I'll have to be that much more careful from now on. Mm. In any case, this note blue place is definitely worth checking out. What's the point in going there if you don't want him to find out that you're Kira? You really think it's worth the risk? Excuse me, Light? So what's going on here? Oh, these are some of my friends from school. <laughs> nice to meet you. This is my cousin Taro. It's his first time ever in Tokyo, and he wants to see Aoyama and Rokongi, so I figured the least we could do was show him a good time. Light's too quick with guys. it, yeah. Oh yeah, he also told me he's looking for... <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to get him off his back. Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are these really his friends? I don't know. They seem like they're... Uh giddy yeah uh, is it for him or for light i don't know but he's trying uh, it, it seems like he's just trying to get him off his back yeah. and keep him preoccupied yeah At least we could do was show him a good time i'm counting on you guys <laughs> oh yeah he also told me he's looking for a girlfriend so does anyone want to volunteer hey i never said that i'm impressed light i doubt that anyone would ever suspect that there was a police detective hanging around with these students yeah Us walking together like this, even if Ryuk is seen, no one would be able to tell which one. Oh. Ah, surveillance smart. Such a bad way to investigate, really. I just have to stay relaxed and keep an eye on the entrance of the note blue when it opens. That's not her, right? That's her. How, how does she know? She can see um, Ryuk, right? Or no? Oh. She cut her hair? Said you the messages with all these people around. 
I know his name now, so I can easily find out all about him. Oh gosh. After all, it's such a unique name. This is getting scary. <laughs> this is getting scary. I, I think we underestimated Misa just a little bit, Jor. Yeah. I mean, this was a pretty intricate plan and, and code. Oh, yeah. Right? To set this up. Uh, and then we've also just been introduced to a new feature of the Death Note. Mm, right? The uh, eyes. A, a new power. I don't, I don't know. Light is the only one who she can't see the lifespan of. Yeah. So that lets her know that he's Kira. Yeah. She's smart. She is smarter than we think. Yeah. She changed up her whole entire identity <laughs> right here. She went covert. She had the little glasses. Yeah. And then she's not even going to go. Yeah. Right? She's dipping out. She says, I know who he is now i i know his name Damn, yeah she's playing yeah. him man all right we have a note here it says the death note will not affect those under 780 days old what's that just over two years 360 times two yeah seven interesting all right that's good to know so what if you're two and a half yeah <laughs> can you kill a three-year-old all right. Uh, the second one says the death note will be rendered useless if the victim's name is misspelled four times. Yeah. Whoa. Wait a minute. Okay. What? what the, if, the entire death note? That's what it says. Oh. What if you put the wrong name in? Yeah. Is it only if you misspell a victim's name? What if you put... A name you think is their name in and you try it four times. Yeah. That is fascinating that we are wow. just learning about this right now, Joe. Yeah. I mean, that now it is somewhat impressive what Light has been able to do over the past year plus or whatever. Yeah. Right? Not misspell people's names. I mean, I get, I get misspelling a name once, maybe yeah. twice. Yeah. Maybe even three times. But if you misspell a name four times, what are you doing at that point? All right, fair point. Hold on, though. Maybe this is a way for... I don't know how the investigative team would ever find out about this, but if the news misspelled oh. names and they broadcasted them, and Light, cause Light doesn't know about this rule. I don't even know if Ryuk does. Yeah, yeah. Or the Shinigamis, because it says, you know, they don't really know much about the Death Notes either. But that could be a way to put a stop to all this. That's true. But how would they find that out, brother? Yeah. Fascinating stuff. <laughs> We're back in Misa's room. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> he won the national tennis championship when he was in his second and third years of junior high. He gave an address as freshman representative at this year's entrance ceremony at Kao University. I can't find a picture of him, but there won't be anyone else with a name like Light Yagami. <laughs> this is crazy. So young and handsome. Oh, this is crazy. Here we go. better than I imagined. I can't believe how easy it was to purchase this information. The world sure is a scary place. I even know his home address now. So we were there both days, in Aoyama on the 22nd and in Shibuya on the 24th, and we observed nothing of significance on either occasion. That leaves us with only the dome on the 30th. I didn't notice anyone who looked suspicious at the note blue. Mm. Was he serious about the dome? Ryuzaki, apparently Sakura TV has just received another message from the... Here we go. It was postmarked on the 23rd. <laughs> Impossible. Where in Aoyama? Is Shinigami? It must have seen Ryu can pick me out of the crowd. No, no, 
There's no way he could have known who Ryuk was attached to. Yeah. I checked repeatedly that no one was following me. If this is true, the only possible event that would correspond with this tape being mailed on the 23rd is the entry regarding Aoyama on the 27th. Yep. The only ones from the task force who went to Aoyama are Matsuda and Light Yaga. Here we go. Was Light really Kiran after all? Still, there's no proof it even happened in Aoyama. This is a disaster if he found him. Yeah, it most likely means that the two Kiras are now cooperating with each other. At this point, I don't think we should jump to any conclusions. The second Kira is only saying that he found him, nothing more. He may not have made contact yet. Now that it's come to this, we have no choice but to communicate as the police directly with the second Kira. You want to send a message? Yes. The police need to reach out to the copycat and offer him a deal. We need to negotiate with him to see if we can get Kira's real name. <laughs> They ain't gotta negotiate. <laughs> you said they don't have to negotiate. This isn't good. She she wouldn't give away his real name, right, to the police. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. I'm going back and forth, right? Misa is aloof one moment. She's a genius the next moment. Yeah. I finally found Kira. I I have found Kira. It is Light Yagami, born on this day, <laughs> tennis <laughs> champion. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Right. Them sitting here watching something like that. Oh my! It goodness. is Light Yagami, tennis champion. That moment right there. What would happen? You you talk about a panic attack. <laughs> the panic attack we saw from L is nothing compared yeah. to what he would have. Yeah. If that happened, I think Light may turn around and jump out the window at that very moment. Well, Light would still have all of the power, especially if he has. Not clippings. if they lock him up. If he's got clippings of the Death Note, where? Come on, Light's got to keep a few clippings. He, he, he'd probably be like this. Get away from me. Get away from, you know, yeah, like yeah. he would have to resort to that. Yeah. Come on, I'm sure Light has a few clippings on him, right? <sighs> Maybe. I don't know. I personally don't think that Misa would do that just because of her yeah. admiration for okay. Kira, for Light now. Yeah. But you never know. Yeah. It's not out of the realm, Jared, of possibility. All right. Let's see how this plays out. of stopping the police from sending this message mm. if kira doesn't yet know your name it may not be too late for you provided you are willing to cooperate whatever you do you must not approach kira out of curiosity make no mistake kira will kill you if you contact him you'll be used and disposed of consider your own life for a moment yours like every other life has an intrinsic value now is your chance to right past wrongs by sharing what you know about kira here we go only you can help us bring his reign of terror to an end Where are you going? To introduce myself. Uh oh. So Jerry, she's at his house. And this is his girlfriend. He, he said he had a girlfriend oh to his mom my and his gosh, sister. Oh gosh, how convenient. How convenient. Oh my god, the, the look of terror on his face that is about to occur. Jordan. The All right, play this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let. Oh boy. He doesn't know what she looks like at this point. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no. He closed the door. Oh, okay. Don't touch it. Don't touch it, man. Got it. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. She's the fake Now, now what? Look. Are you sure it's okay? Thanks. Mom, she came all this way to return my notebook. Sure, I don't see why not.
this is what the f <laughs> what is happening <laughs> she has a lot of respect and admiration for him yeah If I do as you say, yeah. After all, don't you need someone to see Elle's name? If you want, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So, yeah. so what? Would you please make me your girlfriend? <laughs> girlfriend. That's all she wants. That's all she wants. Look. <laughs> if she finds out I'm manipulating her and gets hurt, she'll probably kill me. <laughs> oh, sheesh. <laughs> Just, she's crazy. Just, ah! Come on, man. Is she not? I don't mean. I, I'm sorry. Sorry, our Misa fans. She crazy. got clippings? That is crazy. That is crazy. But you might have removed several pages from your death note. You could be hiding them somewhere for all I know. Right. Why are you so suspicious of me? I already told you I don't care even if all you do is use me. Oh. How can you say that? Exactly one year ago, my parents were killed in a robbery. I was home with them at the time. It happened right in front of me. I wanted that man to pay for what he did, but the trial dragged on forever. Opinions started surfacing that he was being falsely accused. Then it happened. Kira punished him for what he did. Oh. And that's why Kira. Oh. Everything makes sense now, Jared. All I, all I wanted was a chance to meet you one day. Jordan. Jordan. This is crazy. Oh. Pure manipulation, Jared? What do you think uh, from Light's End? I understand. I can't be your boyfriend, but I can act like it. The Did links you went to meet me to be of help to me. Those eyes of yours that you sacrificed half your life to get will be covered by web. Thank you so much. I'm going to try my hardest to make you love me. Crazy. 
All right, lights the crazy one. <laughs> Jared lights the crazy one. We, we didn't know a lot about Misa going into this episode. We made some judgments that may not have been fair. Right. Misa has killed a few people, though. So, like, you can't take that back. But when Misa said, my parents were killed in a robbery, and that Kira, a.k.a. Light Yagami, is the one who killed the person responsible. Do we know that for sure? What do you mean? Do we know that for sure? Is there an, is there is there anybody else running around with a death note? Okay, I found this on the web. For is there and is there is there anybody else running around? <laughs> Check it out. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Go away, serious business, Siri. Hey Siri. All right, I don't know what Misa has hacked into our system. All right, all right, we're good. pretending <laughs> to be Siri. <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's a question, Jared. That right? I, none of us know. Only and, people who have watched. And it. if it was somebody else, I mean, it was probably light. But if it was somebody else, light wouldn't wouldn't come out and say that. Oh no, no, no. right? That's part of the manipulation tactic here. Yeah. Um, Jordan, at the end here, light just comes out and tells her, "I can pretend to be your boyfriend," and she says, "I will try my hardest to make you love me." Yeah. Jordan, they're going to fall in love. She's going to fall in love. They're both going to fall in love. This is going to get steamy. Light now has her death note, correct? I think so, but she still has the eyes, and we don't know if she has any pages or clippings of the death note. This is scary. This is scary. This is also very beautiful. How so? To you. Speak it, your mind, brother. This is love for her, at least right now. Is it love or Jordan, is it? She found, the, she found her person, at least in her mind, right? Is it, um, you, you would characterize that as love? What would you characterize it as? Limerence? What the hell does that mean? Uh, let's look that up. Did I, you uh, say limerence? I heard that word the other day. And um, this might. <laughs> this might. Uh, All right. Scratch out love. That is. No, you, I'm saying that's your perspective. No, it's limerence. For me, when I, when I see <laughs> what Misa is feeling towards light, and she says that you are the person who essentially gave me justice. Right? They don't know each other. All, yeah. That's all she knows. And she, know, she knows that she stands behind Kira's message and reasoning for what he's doing. Yeah. But limerence, to me, seems to wow. be a, a, a little better of a descriptor, at least now. They may fall in love. But limerence says it describes the experience of having an uncontrollable desire for someone, an obsession that consumes the limerent person's thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. It usually involves two people, the person who desires the other, and the desired person. Jordan, how did you come across this term? Oh my goodness. I was listening to a, a podcast with a, um, uh, I listened to two different ones. One with a psychologist. Yeah. And one with a divorce attorney. Okay. From this YouTube channel called The Soft White Underbelly. Oh, fascinating stuff. He, they talked about the difference between love, limerence, lust. It was fascinating. Wow. Okay. I, you hit it on the nail, Jordan. I don't know if I did though. No, look, look, right now, yeah. this is limerence. Right now, Misa is head over heels for light. Yeah. Um, however, there's an opening, right? She, as I just mentioned, she said, I will try That's my hardest right. to make you love me. That's true. May okay, maybe she does love him. Uh, maybe. In her own way. Yeah. Maybe what she, what she is feeling is love for him. No, I think... It's limerence at the moment. I think you're right. Yeah, I don't know, brother. <laughs> I don't know. All right, right here we have a graphic. It says love versus limerence. While love and limerence can feel similar, there are a few key differences that separate them. Love, built on meaningful connection, limerence, one-sided. 
Love, you solve problems together. Limerus, you believe the other person can solve your problems. Mm. Right? She's submitting herself what to she, light. What did she say? She said, I want you to use me. I want you to use me. Yeah. Holy moly. Love, you understand their flaws and love them anyway. Limerence, you put them on a pedestal and believe they're flawless. Yeah. Love, comforting and balanced. Limerence, obsessive and stressful. We saw those moments where she already snapped at him. We saw those moments. She already. Yeah. And, and when she snaps, it's a different type of snap. <laughs> it's the snapping it's of. Like, Oh my goodness. And one more, I know I'm talking a lot. One more thing. I just want to read a quote by uh, Light. He was thinking this as she was talking to him. He said, he, he was thinking, Jared, if she finds out I'm manipulating her and gets hurt, <laughs> she will probably kill me. <laughs> I think that's an understatement. You got she damn will right. She will torture you. She will kill you. She will torture you. <sighs> and Jared. that can be said in, in real life too, Jared. <laughs> like this happens every day in real life. Uh, if she finds out that I'm manipulating her and gets hurt, she will probably kill me. Yeah. Both sides. He will probably kill me. Yeah. This happens every day. They were talking about Misa's friend, right? And Misa said, do you want me to kill her? Oh or something like that. Goodness. So things, <laughs> things are going to get wild, George. <laughs> things are going to get right? so wild. Right? I feel like Light is going to start ordering killings. First up. Oh my goodness. You think he's... First up, who? Oh. I was going to say L, but then I realized... Elle is still anonymous. What is else? Oh, no, 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 no. He's not. not with the eyes. No, he's not. No, not he's not. Uh oh, things are about to get crazy. Jared, Light is in even more of a conundrum than he thought he was by just joining the investigative team. Yes. Now he has to appease Misa while also appeasing L. This is like a, I mean, I don't even know how to describe it. Anymore. Watch this. This is. Freaking insane. Everybody. Last thing I'll say. Yeah. I think Light will now act as three Kiras. So you think he'll assume Misa's? Misa just handed Light her death note and said, use me. Oh my Done. goodness. So now he has all the power. It's going to be difficult, but he's got all the power. All right, Jor. Okay, man. We ready for the next episode? We're ready for the next episode. Let's go. Let's go, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, for commenting in. Things have just sped up tremendously. Yeah. We went from wondering what it's going to be like for Light and Misa to meet to Misa showing up at Light's doorstep. Yeah. And now to at least her mo Light's mother and sister, Misa is his girlfriend. <laughs> wait till chief yagami meets her yeah i wonder if misa will uh get along with sayu his Sa sister oh, oh. Right, what well, that's gonna be like <laughs> crazy all right we're gonna watch the next episode come join us everybody do not forget be kind and keep an open mind peace <laughs>